if you've used, for example, Python before, potentially Java, C, you'll have come across sort of procedural flow. And the way that we go about, um, you know, evaluating conditions in an iterative fashion would typically be to use a while loop. And in Python, you would you would use a while loop. One key area would be iterating over values within a list, so over a range of values. Uh, and that would be particularly prudent because in Python, lists are standard built-in data type. I would say that while loops aren't as common or popular in SQL for a few reasons. Number one, there's not always the use case for them, but they are important to know how to how to actually go about using them. They can also be quite uh, expensive in the computational sense that they're not the most performant because obviously we're iterating through uh, loops and setting values and doing certain things with records. So that would be another reason you may not use them. Um, and we also have some alternatives such as cursors or CTEs to, to perform this sort of logic. So what I'll do here, I'll just go over the basic syntax of a while loop help you cement knowledge of variables as well, because we'll use variables. Um, and we can sort of see uh, the structure and how, how it actually works under the hood. Now, the only other thing I'd say, if you want a real case, real sort of use case scenario here, potentially, you know, you could use a while loop if you have values that you're iterating over and inserting into a table or a temp table, that would be a potential use case for while loops. But typically, when you're at the sort of intermediate, even to the advanced stages, you won't use while loops a whole lot. But it's important to explore how we use this logic within SQL anyway, and specifically within SQL Server here. So the first thing that we need to do is declare our variable. And I will just call it count, because essentially that's what we're doing, um, and set it to integer. So we, as with any variables, we use the declare keyword here. We specify the name of our variable. We need to uh, have an at symbol in front of that. That's just how we denote it within SQL Server. And we have specified an integer data type. Next, we need to set the value or the starting value of our counter. So I will just set that equal to one. Now we'll just space this out to make everything uh, a little bit more readable. I'll say while, so this is our condition. We're going to evaluate it against this while condition. While our count variable, we'll say is less than or equal to 50, we want to perform the following. So we mark this, when we're evaluating the condition here, we mark it within begin and end. So we will say, we'll output the message within a print statement. So say print, Count value is, and we will, um, I'll leave a space here because we're actually going to join on the output there. And what I'm going to need to do, because I've got a string value here, I'm going to convert my integer count value um, to varchar so that I can accommodate for, for the text string that precedes it. And then I need to reference my variable here, count, and then we will say, set at count equal to plus one. So we have our whole while loop here that we've written pretty quickly. Um, this is a basic example because often you could use um, break and continue logic where break will essentially, when it hits a condition, will just end the um, the while loop to stop an infinite run um, and continue can direct the while loop to continue. Um, and also we can nest while loops within other while loops, but for most situations that would be unnecessarily complex and, and sort of wouldn't be performant at all. So, but there are situations where we, we may need to do that, which is why I want to cover this concept and the syntax. So let's look at what's happening here. We've declared a variable. I'm just calling it count because that's essentially what we're doing uh, with an integer data type. We set the initial value to one and we're saying, well, this variable is less than or equal to 50 uh, within our begin and end block here. We print the count value is 
and we convert the count to um, a string data type. So essentially, say count value is one, count value is two, you know, in a sequential manner. But we need to have a string data type because we have string values here. And we will set the count uh, to count plus one to continue the process. And then it will it will end or break uh, when we're, um, you know, uh, over 50 because our condition is less than or equal to 50. So let's run this. And when we execute, you see it runs as we'd expect. Count value is one, two, three, and it should go right the way up to 50, and it gives us the completion time. So that's a short insight into the while loop and sort of flow or procedural flow uh, with some conditional logic in SQL. As I said, it's not the most common thing that you'll come across. But it's important to know and it helps cement some other fundamentals such as variables uh, or converting data types.